This is News 3 Now at 10. Thanks for joining News 3 Now at 10. I'm Amanda Quintana. A 25-year-old Madison man is dead after a tubing accident on the Sugar River today. Green County officials say they responded to a report of a man who went underwater around 3.20 this afternoon. They say his body was found in Albany shortly after 6, about 400 yards from where he entered the water. The Green County coroner is investigating, but they haven't yet identified him. Also new tonight, police say one person is in the hospital after a stabbing on Madison's east side tonight. Officials say they responded to the 3500 block of Ridgeway Avenue around 7 o'clock tonight. Right now, police say the status of the victim is unknown. Let's get a look at your first warm weather with Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti. We can see some strong thunderstorms overnight. Yeah, nothing imminent right now, Amanda, but it's very humid out there. So once these storms get going, it's a possibility they could bring heavy rain as well as strong winds. Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk of severe thunderstorms over all of southern Wisconsin for high winds and heavy rain. The higher severe weather threat the enhanced risk over northwestern Wisconsin where severe thunderstorms have been rolling through that part of the state. New severe thunderstorm watch now in effect until 9, uh, 5, p, 5 a.m. for areas north of a Wausau to Green Bay line. But so far, those storms haven't been able to develop south of the Twin Cities. But take a look at future radar over the next 12 hours. They show the, uh, that line of storms developing and then sweeping through much of southern Wisconsin by early tomorrow morning. The storm should pretty much be gone by about 6 or 7 a.m. High temperatures today were in the upper 80s to lower 90s. The morning should showers and storms prevented us from hitting 90, but right now temperatures are still in the middle 80s, even at 10 o'clock, and those dew point temperatures are in the mid to upper 70s, thanks in part to the rain that we had this morning. So it feels like 95 in Madison, 97 in La Crosse, 94 in Milwaukee, and the humidity will keep uh, the thunderstorm chances alive overnight, but tomorrow we'll see sunshine return. It'll turn breezy and less humid in the afternoon with a high of 84. Later on, I'll take a look a little more specifically at our prospects for severe weather overnight. Thank you, Gary. Organizers. Worshipful Prince Hall Freemasons are adding their voice to the conversation about issues affecting the black community. Madeline O'Neill was there and shares their message. Today's event culminated here at the Urban League with speeches after a peace walk here on Madison's south side, encouraging the community to get involved. Police brutality, racism, and economic disparities. The list of reasons that brought Prince Hall Freemasonry brothers and sisters together here goes on. Equal education systems for the youth. From fair housing to employment to pr police brutality, there's a gamut of issues. And Kathleen Creep asks the community to listen. We're not saying other lives don't matter because all lives matter. But for 400 years, black lives haven't mattered. And when is the change going to come? So if you're tired of hearing about black lives matter, about we, us wanting change, then you should also be tired of what's been going on for 400 years. The walk is dedicated in part to late congressman and civil rights icon John Lewis, who passed away yesterday. We can no longer be passive about the issues that affect our people. We have to have the courage that John Lewis had. This is very personal to me. Ralph Sermons is also walking in honor of his friend Eric Lurie Jr., whose family plans to file a lawsuit after he died in police custody in Illinois. I march for him. I, mo I march for our ancestors that made it possible for me to get out and vote. The group is raising awareness for voter registration, hoping to push changes forward at the legislative level. It's about peace, but it's also about change. It turned out to be a beautiful day, but organizers said this would go on rain or shine. In Madison, Madeline O'Neill, News 3 Now. Community members, including State Representative Sheila Stubbs and NAACP of Dane County President Greg Jones gave remarks today. Prince Hall fraternity and sorority members are planning peace walks in all Wisconsin cities where they have lodges. Wisconsin health officials are confirming more than 800 new cases of COVID-19 today, just one day after the state surpassed 40,000 confirmed infections. With 805 additional cases today, the Badger State has now passed 41,000 cases, while nine more people have died due to complications of the virus. 7.9% of tests have come back positive over the past 24 hours. That's more than 1% higher than yesterday. Wisconsin has also now tested more than 750,000 people since the start of the the pandemic. The FDA is trying to make COVID testing easier. Today they announced its first emergency use authorization for Quest Diagnostics pool testing. The company can test up to four individuals at once for the virus. The FDA commission
commissioner says sample pooling is an important step that helps get COVID-19 tests to more Americans more quickly while preserving testing supplies. The U.S. is expected to have more than 157,000 COVID-related deaths by August 8th. That's according to a new forecast by the CDC. The prediction pulls together two dozen individual forecasts made by outside groups and researchers. The CDC predicts states in the coming weeks to record higher numbers of deaths, including Florida, Arizona, Oklahoma, and Texas. As of tonight, there have been more than 139,000 COVID-19 deaths in the U.S. Most county fairs in our area have been canceled this year due to the virus, but at Sar Gabriela Guacara shares, there may still be hope if you're looking to snack on some fair foods. After state and county fairs were canceled due to COVID-19, G&G concessions had to find a new place to sell everybody's favorite fair foods. For six months out of the year, Cheryl Shepard and her family are usually on the road visiting fairs across the Midwest. This is our, our main source of income. This is what we do for a living. But this year, their trailers are parked about a mile off of Highway 12 in the parking lot of Divine Custom Truck and Auto in Baraboo. We finally got to the uh, awareness that this was the way it was going to be, that we were not going to be going out this summer. Um, on our usual route that we've been doing for for many many years so um, then we just kind of said well you know we don't want the trailers just to sit around it's something new as Shepard says the family hasn't missed out on a fair in over 30 years this is different for us to be doing this but it's been fun it's been great that we've been able to you know get out and and sell and it's been absolutely fantastic to see the smiles on people's faces when they see a funnel cake trailer or a euro trailer on their way to the grocery store it's, it's different we can't of course go to the fairs and and participate in some of those activities this year so it's a nice alternative to um, that. It, it's wonderful being able to still get your yummies. <laughs> G&G Concessions Funnel Cake Trailer is traveling to Wisconsin's Fair Food drive through at State Fair Park. We had a lot of positive feedback that, you know, it's going to be fun for everybody. They're going to just drive through in their cars and be able to get corn dogs and Italian sausage and turkey legs and funnel cakes. But it'll be back to Baraboo in two weeks to finish out the season. Of course, there's nothing that's going to replace our 20 events that we do all summer, you know, but at this point, we're grateful for every dollar that we make right now. G&G concessions plan on staying out here for as long as people keep coming. In Baraboo, I'm Gabriella Becerra, News 3 Now. The Fair Food drive through will run Thursday through Sunday from July 23rd until August 16th in West Dallas. A full list of vendors can be found on the Wisconsin State Fair website. Turning to the campaign trail now, Joe Biden is warning that Russia is trying to meddle in America's election process again. During a virtual fundraiser last night, the former vice president indicated he's receiving briefs on the issue, but didn't go into detail. Meanwhile, President Trump says holding big in-person rallies during the pandemic will, quote, be tough going forward. He made the comment last night during his first tele-rally. I wanted to be with you, and this is really replacing our rallies that we all love so much. We had great rallies in Wisconsin and all over the country. And unfortunately, until this gets uh, solved, and we're doing really well with the therapeutics and vaccines, but until that gets solved, it's going to be tough to have those big, massive rallies. So I'm doing uh, telephonic rallies. The president notably held a low attended rally in Tulsa, Oklahoma last month. His rally last weekend in New Hampshire was canceled due to bad weather. An Atlanta church rang its bells 80 times today in honor of the late civil rights leader, Congressman John Lewis. The longtime Georgia congressman died yesterday of pancreatic cancer. Lewis was one of the original Freedom Riders and at age 23 was the youngest speaker at the March on Washington where Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his I Have a Dream speech. He received the Presidential Medal of Freedom from President Obama in 2011. President Trump has ordered flags at public buildings, military posts and naval stations across the country to fly at half staff today in honor of John Lewis's life. In his only tweet so far today, the president said he was, quote, saddened to hear the news of Lewis's passing and sends his prayers to the Lewis family. 
Thousands of people are trying to find ways to remember the civil rights leader. A petition to rename an iconic Selma, Alabama bridge after Lewis now has more than 400,000 signatures. Lewis marched across the Edmund Pettus Bridge in 1965 on what's now known as Bloody Sunday. Law enforcement beat him during the demonstration. The bridge is currently named after a Confederate general and a KKK leader. Oprah Winfrey says she interviewed Lewis last week in one of his final interviews before passing. She shared a clip on her Twitter this morning where she thanked him for showing us what good trouble looks like. I just tried to do what I thought was right, fair, and just. When I was growing up in rural Alabama, uh, my mother would always say, boy, don't get in trouble. Don't get in trouble. When I saw those signs that said white, colored, and I would say, why? And she would say again, don't get in trouble. Mm. You would be beaten. You would go to jail. You may not live. But one day I heard of Rosa Parks, heard the words of Martin Luther King Jr. on old radio, the words of Dr. King and the action of Rosa Parks inspired me to get in trouble. And I've been getting in trouble ever since. John Lewis was 80 years old. We'll be right back. Remembering Congressman John Lewis as the nation mourns the passing of the civil rights icon. Where do we go from here in race relations? And what lessons can we learn from his remarkable life? Face the Nation, Sunday on CBS. Day trips are better than day dreams. Experience the adventure of a bigger world in a highly capable Lexus SUV. Visit your local Lexus dealer in person or online for exceptional offers at the Golden Opportunity Sales Event. Lease the 2020 NX300 for $339 a month for 36 months. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. So if we're going to spend a third of our lives sleeping, shouldn't we try to get the best sleep possible? That's why Denver Mattress is all about that sleep life. And during the Super 7 Day Sale, the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every 1000 you spend. Plus four years, no interest financing, and free shipping right to your doorstep. And to celebrate the newest arrival at Denver Mattress, come in and test out the outrageously comfortable Casper mattress and accessories. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right mattress. At GHC, we want you to be safer at home. We have more ways for you to get care anywhere, anytime, day or night. Be seen, be safe, be home. We will get through this together, and we will all get better together. Seeing the joy that people feel when they share a meal with family and friends, that's why we do this. The laughter of kids around the table, the thrill of families driving through for a treat, the delight of not having to cook, and instead, letting us safely serve you. It all comes back to taking care of each other. And for that, we'll be here with your favorites and always a smile. I want a client who comes in to feel comfortable and to know that their case is in good hands so they can relax and get on with their life as best as they can and let me do the fighting for them. That's how I want them to feel. Gingris Thompson and Walks. Wow, you ready? Yeah, let me just grab my wallet. Uh-oh, I've seen this before. Wallet way too big, skinny jeans too skinny. I'll just carry it. Before you break something, you should know you don't actually need a wallet. With BMO Harris, you can just take cash out with your phone. Or if you need to, you can pay them with Zelle. That works? Yeah. You're stuck, aren't you? Smile. Woo! Those jeans are way too tight. That feeling you get when no wallet is no big deal. That's the BMO effect. Many of the policies Congressman John Lewis pushed for and the marches he walked in are reminiscent of what's happening. Today we'll hear from the Madison Black Chamber of Commerce about the latest local efforts underway to push for racial equality. See you Sunday morning at 6.30. Sponsored by Clean Lakes Alliance's Lake Forecast Monitoring App. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. 
A group of UW-Madison students are protesting the university's reopening plans. Students are set to return to campus next month with a mix of in-person and online classes. But protesters gathered on Library Mall today say the plan doesn't take students' safety into account enough. Today's demonstration was called People Over Profit. They want virtual options for all classes and lower tuition costs due to the online format as well as on their changes. They're not really thinking about our safety. We know that COVID cases have been going up and nobody really wants to um, risk their life just for an education. Like the university announced plans for its smart restart idea last month. A Middleton business is facing criticism yet again for not requiring its customers or employees to wear masks. A small group of people gathered outside of Helvax this morning to protest the coffee shop that they say is endangering people's lives. Organizers want the shop to be held accountable, fined, or even shut down. But many of the shop's supporters say Helvax should be able to choose its own policy. If you're going to have a business of this magnitude, you really need to respect the fact um, that we are in crisis. Our freedoms are being taken away, and so we need to stand up for them. Health officials say of the 140 non-compliance complaints they received on day one of the mask order on Monday, more than 100 of those were for Hellbox Coffee. News 3 now reached out to owner Casey Hellbach for an interview, and he declined. A former Hellbox employee is joining those protesters and also speaking out. If they didn't care about their people then, I'm not surprised. College student Rebecca Alvarez says she worked for the family during her summer breaks. While working there, she says she experienced multiple instances of racism. She says one particular instance with owner Melissa Helbach was the final straw. When I asked Melissa for a mop, she said, well, I, sh I don't understand why you Latinos refuse to get on your knees to clean my floor. And that is when I decided to get up and said, I'm not cleaning your floor anymore. Now a senior, Alvarez says, though she no longer works for the family, she has no anger towards them. Let's get a look at your first worn weather with Gary Canalti now. It's not going to be as humid tomorrow, so it might feel a little cooler. It'll be a cold front that comes through that brings us to thunderstorms tonight, but should lessen the humidity for tomorrow. The air is just loaded with moisture right now, and the severe weather threat is there all night across all of Wisconsin. Highest severe weather threat in the northwestern part of the state, but a slight risk across the entire uh, rest of the state. Uh, already severe thunderstorms have been rolling through northwestern Wisconsin. Severe thunderstorm watch now in effect until 5 a.m. north of Alwasa to Green Bay Line. We're watching to see if this line starts to extend farther to the south and east. That happened last night. That's why we have the thunderstorms this morning. These storms will be more likely to be severe because the, uh, the temperatures, the dew point temperatures are very high across southern Wisconsin. As we take a look at future radar over the next nine hours, notice how it has that line of thunderstorms developing to the south and west and then sweeping through southern Wisconsin. It'll be a quick moving line of storms. So whenever you see a line of storms that moves very quickly, you have the potential for high winds. Uh, heavy rain also possibility, but the fast movement of the line of storms will probably limit the rain in most locations. There still will be spots that could pick up an inch or two of rain, but more likely it'll probably be in the quarter to half inch range across southern Wisconsin. But once the storms move out of here overnight, look for sunny skies to return for tomorrow. The humidity levels will drop in the afternoon and we'll see seasonably warm weather with high temperatures in the lower 80s for Monday. The uh, Madison Lakes uh, update, Mendota and Wingra reporting all beaches open. Uh, Monona and Wabisa have a couple of beach closures. Uh, otherwise, uh, if you want to uh, check out the lake water temperature, that's 78 degrees. We can get all that information on lakeforecast.org. And the forecast for tomorrow calls for sunshine to return. High temperature at 84. More clouds early in the day, but I think the afternoon will be mostly sunny. It'll be a little breezy if you're out on a boat. Uh, might have a little bit of a chop on the lake. High temperatures today, upper 80s to lower 90s. A lot of heat to our south and west. 104 degrees in Hill City, Kansas. The only reason Madison didn't hit 90 was because we had those thunderstorms come through and the late morning hours that limited the, the uh, temperatures a bit and it took a long time for the temperatures to rebound late in the afternoon then the sun started to go down. But these storms are developing to our north and west right underneath the jet stream which is right along a cold front which is starting to move eastward and eventually we'll see storms fill in along this, line, this uh, cold front uh, over the next few hours and then move through southern Wisconsin. You can see right now temperatures ahead of the front still well into the 80s. Behind the front they drop into the 70s. The dew point temperatures though 
upper 70s here, but the air is a little bit uh, drier to the west, and that's what will be moving in for tomorrow afternoon. So overnight, look for a round of showers and thunderstorms. Some of those could be strong, produce gusty winds and heavy rain in the low of 73. Tomorrow, we're back to sunshine, high of 84, and the humidity levels will drop in the afternoon. On future track, notice the line of storms, 2 a.m. sweeping through four, uh, by 630, moving east of Madison, and then we're back to sunshine tomorrow afternoon. Rainfall amounts again spotty. Some areas less than a quarter of an inch, some areas an inch or two if you get caught underneath the heavier thunderstorm. 7 to 10 day forecast. Temperatures near normal for much of the first part of next week. Highs low, low to mid 80s. A couple of thunderstorm chances. Then notice those temperatures back up into the lower 90s as we head into next weekend and the humidity levels come right back up as well. All right. Thank you so much, Gary. Celebrating a birthday during COVID-19 is hard enough as is, but what if you're inside the NBA bubble? We'll show you what the Bucks did coming up next in sports. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. So sexy it hurts. And I'm too sexy for my land. Sometimes you run out of fresh at the wrong time. Luckily, pick and save delivery and free pickup make it easy to grab what you need so you can get back to being you. Pick and save, fresh for everyone. Kindness makes a world of difference at the Century House. Donate $50 or more to the Second Harvest Food Bank of Southern Wisconsin and save more than ever before on stressless seating. Save at least $300 on stressless recliners and office chairs. Plus save hundreds more with $200 off every sofa seat you buy. There's never been a better time to help others and fill your home with the unmatched comfort of stressless seating. Be kind and save generously at the Century House. Whether it's your morning cup of coffee or waiting for mom and dad to come home, our windows will provide endless possibilities to your daily routine here at Mad City Windows. Now would be a great time to take advantage of our summer spectacular sale. Get a house full of windows for $29.95. Zero down, zero payments, and zero interest for 18 months. A bonus. Buy seven or more premium windows and get a patio door installed for free. Ask about our virtual online estimate. Call now to get a $100 Walmart or Amazon gift card with your estimate. Find your keys. Find your get up and go. Find pants that aren't sweats. Find your friends. Find your sense of wonder. Find the world is new again. At Chevy, we'd like to take you there. Now, during the Chevy Open Road Sales Event, get up to 15% of MSRP cash back on select 2020 models. That's over $5,700 cash back on this Equinox. It's time to find new roads again. U.S. Cellular. Yeah. I'm a new customer. What's the deal? Unlimited data, just $30 a month. I love that. But what's the deal with the signal? It works everywhere. I'm like sub-level Z of this parking garage. And it still works. It's crazy. Sure, sure. You're going into signal shock. Very common with new customers. Just breathe with me, okay? Unlimited data. Oh, strong signal. Strong signal. All for $30 a month. Oh, U.S. Cellular. Choose fair. Getting your air ducts thoroughly cleaned takes the trained professionals at Stanley Steamer using the most powerful equipment to get the most powerful results. Our equipment goes deep inside your ducts, removing years of dirt, pet hair, allergens, even dust mites. Unlike other air duct cleaning companies, Stanley Steamer cleans your entire system. Just look at how much dirt can be removed. Call today for a free inspection and save $50 on a cleaning. Stanley Steamer gets your home. needed off day for some recovery today after two straight weeks of summer camp but you know the only there's one guy that hasn't really been in any of the scrimmage lineup so far and that's Ryan Braun and the series only started on Tuesday so no real need to panic according to Craig Council he says he's given the super short he says given the super short season rather he's not that concerned about preseason reps with the opener less than a week away one thing that a lot of the guys can't seem to shake though not seeing any friendly or on the flip side not so friendly faces in the 
stands. The fact that there's no fans in the stands is still, to me, the biggest thing that, that the players are going to have to deal with this year. It's, it's the most different thing. It, it's, it means so much to the players. I, I can't stress it enough. Um, and so I, I think from a physical perspective, I think it's probably what Ryan's alluding to the most there is that over 60 games, um, you know, just there's less that can go wrong, right? And one place where you won't have to worry about that at all is the Rogers Center, a.k.a. home of the Blue Jays, because the Canadian government has denied the team's request to play there because they don't think it's safe for the players to travel back and forth between there and the U.S. The mayor of Buffalo, New York, however, he's tweeted that he would love for the Blue Jays to play in his city, so stay tuned. Well, Edgerton native Steve Stricker with a promising round yesterday in the Memorial Tournament, putting himself in position to perhaps move up the leaderboard today, but he did not get off to a strong start. He actually had five bogeys in today's round three, putting him at 77 for the day and one over par overall. That ties him for 29th place. Meanwhile, John Rahm shooting up the standings today. He has a four-stroke lead ahead of Ryan Palmer and Tony Finau. Well, last week at the American Century Championship, Aaron Rodgers says he wasn't sure about the future of the NFL and the schedule or anything that was going to happen football season, but we did get some answers today. The league says that the players Players will report to training camp over the next 10 days. Rookies will be this coming Tuesday. Quarterbacks and any injured players on Thursday and everyone else the following week. Now this applies to all teams minus the Texans and the Chiefs. <laughs> Now that's definitely a happy laugh there, a happy human laugh. It's not that bad celebrating your birthday in the NBA bubble when you have your teammates and two brothers in it with you. The Nassus Antetokounmpo turned 27 years old today. Giannis decorated his door there with the balloons that you see. And then he and younger brother Costas surprised Anastas with a cake later and saying happy birthday to him in Greek. So when you have your loved ones around you and some good friends, definitely not a bad idea. Definitely not a bad thing, Amanda. Really lucked out by having his brothers there. Who else do you really need? He's got his two best friends know, exactly. with him. He's got his fam. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, Melissa. We'll be right back. America, we want to help get you back to it. And here's how with the Ford Promise. Visit your Ford dealer. Finance a new, certified, pre-owned, or used vehicle through Ford Credit. And if you lose your job, you can return it for up to one year from the day you bought it. You can also get 0% APR financing for 72 months across the Ford lineup. Let us help get you back to it with the Ford Promise. When looking for a TV and internet provider, we know you have a choice. This is Jessica. She still has satellite TV. Well, I get tons of HD. Spectrum has tons of HD, and we love Spectrum's 24-hour local news channel. Plus, we get exclusive access to premium original content with Spectrum Originals. I don't have that. Get Spectrum TV from $44.99 a month. Call 833-976-4499. Spectrum Internet starts at 200 megabits with no data caps and a free modem. We have to get internet from another company and it isn't nearly as fast. Spectrum Internet, $44.99 a month. I'd switch, but I'm stuck in a contract and would have to pay up to $480 to cancel. Spectrum has no contracts and they'll pay up to $500 to help you out of yours. That's it. I'm switching to Spectrum. Get Spectrum TV and Internet from $44.99 a month each. Call 833-976-4499. Joe Biden has never been president for some very good reasons. And where did you place in that class? One of them is still breathtaking years later. I, I think I probably have a much higher IQ than you do, I suspect. I went to law school on a full academic scholarship, the only one in my, in my class, and in fact ended up in the top half of my class. I was the outstanding student in the political science department at the end of my year. I graduated with three degrees, and I'd be delighted to sit down and compare my IQ to yours if you'd like, Frank. Really, Joe? Biden now concedes he did not graduate in the top half of his law school class, that he does not have three degrees from college, and that he was not named outstanding political science student in college. Newsweek says Biden actually went to school on a half scholarship, ended up near the bottom of his class, and won only one degree, not three. Now Biden says Newsweek is right. His memory had failed him. Joe Biden, unsuited then, unsuited now. Restoration Pack is responsible for the content of his advertising. 
Gar ver. Garver. Gather. Hey. Gathering. Garver. Gathering. Garve. Her. Ing. Garvering. A socially responsible gathering where a maximum of 250 people enjoy thirst quenching drinks, delicious food, and the arts in a safe, clean, and touchless outdoor environment. Let's, Let's go, go Garvering. Garver. Visit thegarverfeedmill.com for dates and details starting June 11th. Brought to you by News 3 Now, Madison Magazine, and the Garver Feed Mill. Go to Amazon.com skills to enable Channel 3000 news briefs. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. A little dog named Astro is okay after leading first responders on a chase down at Washington, D.C. Expressway. Fire officials originally responded to a multi-vehicle crash on the interstate yesterday. A woman involved in the crash was taken to the hospital while her year-and-a-half-old wayward Shih Tzu poodle was placed in a fire department vehicle for his safety. But someone accidentally opened the door, kicking off this chase. Our job is to protect everybody and animals and, and the people and everything, so we didn't want him to get over there. Astro weaved through traffic but was eventually corralled after a seven-minute chase. He is now back home in the arms of his owner, who is now out of the hospital. She says Astro is tired but grateful for the firefighters who went after him. A couple close calls in that video. It had me a little worried. That's about the size of my dog, and he used to be able to run like that, but not anymore. Not, so. That dog was running yeah. fast. He, he had a place to go. Ready to go. Well, uh, we're watching thunderstorms tonight. Again, the severe weather threat is there overnight for all of Wisconsin. You can see most of the severe weather right now up in the northern part of the state. Storms just starting to develop now just uh, east of the Twin Cities. There was actually a tornado warning for Pierce County in western Wisconsin. But notice future radar showing those storms developing back toward the west, and then those come through southern Wisconsin in between about maybe 1 and 4 a.m. So be aware for those. They can bring strong winds and heavy rain. All right. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a great night.